Hi, good morning guys. So um, I'm actually at home right now because apparently all my cars are cancelled and due to the COVID-19 so I decided to do something I find it quite weird but meaningful at the same time uh, to pass time and also to... It's something related to what I'm studying which is pharmacy. To really increase the awareness of people on how to store drugs properly and also to how to return drugs that are used that or that are expired to the government side so that no drug is wasted or is not disposed properly. Before this, let me just grab a cup of water. Drink more water. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. <laughs> Guys, ready? This is it. Yep. So we have like different sections on different medication. Like this is all Panadols and NSAIDs, and this is for diarrhea. We have charcoal and oral rehydration salt, uh, gastric, and then because my sister has really bad gastric, and then stomach cramp, uh, uh, food and allergy. And these are miscellaneous stuff, so it's like, uh, like fish oil, uh, vitamin C, yep, just very miscellaneous stuff. Yep. This is anima, <laughs> mouth goggles and stuff like that. Yep, that's um, sort of what I did. Alright, so today we are going to talk about the importance of proper medication management. So most of the time, medication tend to pile up and hence lead to the mismanagement of the medication. So especially in older adults where uh, we can see that they are actually having a polypharmacy, which is known as taking a four or more medications from the hospital for long term. So in Malaysia, currently from the government hospital, uh, we can see that 39.2% of elderly are actually taking more than uh, 5 drugs. Most importantly is the poor uh, medication management at home. For example, storing of medication in, at unsuitable places like that. Right? So, what you may say, you might ask like, what are the medication management that I should do? Probably you have grandpa or grandma at home that you might want to help them to arrange their drugs where um, it's very important to um, improve your compliance towards that drug but how? Set a reminder on when to take a drug on your phone uh, and also to have a medication chart on when to eat like for example this drug having it at night or in the morning or at night and morning uh, and also to have a pill box at the same time like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday where you put all your drugs into the pill box and you know when to eat Let me just show you This is uh, the expired medication found Yeah, so you can return it uh, in the hospital where there is a There is a pemulangan uban and I will attach in the link in the description box below and that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys. Sorry for the bad face. <laughs>